Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's vlog is a cooking vlog. Um, today we will be making cheesy ramen noodles inspired um, by some other Korean dishes. And um, the idea I got to make this dish was from a YouTube video I had watched. I wanted to actually try a different dish involving ketchup that I saw in the video, but my mom said no. So we'll just be making cheesy ramen noodles today. So the first thing you should always do before cooking is wash your hands. It is important so that way you don't contaminate your dish that you're making. So we'll wash our hands and make sure everything is clean. So let's do that. So you don't need to um, wash your hands for a long time, about 20 seconds, like you're sick or something, and about as much time to sing the birthday song twice. Alright, so now that we have washed our hands, um, we are going to go over the ingredients that you will be needing for this dish. The first ingredient is very pure 1% uh, milk. Um, 12 pack of ramen noodles, but I'll be using one. Um, cheese, so anything you can find, like, you know, lunchable or just regular cheese that you can buy. A measuring cup to measure the milk. A fork to stir the noodles. A strainer to strain the noodles. And a plate for our final result in the noodles. So, now you want to turn on the front of the stove, not the rear, the front, and you don't have to put it on a high heat, you'll need it on a medium heat for it to boil, and a low heat won't really boil as fast. Um, and another a, a disclaimer, um, children who are under the age of adolescence should not be around um, fire or gas lit stoves. So, um, if you want to make this dish, you would need a parent's, uh, parent's help. So, yeah. Now that the water is boiled, we are going to put our ramen packet in. Um, a another disclaimer. Also, kids under the adolescence who are making ramen should not put ramen in by themselves around a gas lit stove. Or any stove for that matter. Please. Have an adult help you. It, it's just a safer way so you don't get burned. Okay, so we have put our ramen in carefully. So now we are going to take the fork and. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, like, you know, kind of wait like three to four minutes for the ramen to kind of just like separate apart and get a little soft. But in my opinion, I kind of like the density. So. I like the crunchiness and the softness of the noodles, but this is kind of like, you know, my mom's way of cooking it. So we have our fork to safely stir around the noodles. Be careful not to burn yourself um, with the fork or yourself with the stove. Um, just kind of like stir around the noodles. You don't have to like um, do anything like over exaggerated whipping them on it's basically kind of like making macaroni but like with ramen and as you can see it's already kind of somewhat spreading apart so we're just going to um help spread apart the noodles what i really like about ramen noodles is the satisfying um way that they just like come up when you lift them up and the bubbles that they just create it's just really satisfying it's like watching strands of hair come up from out of water so now that our um, noodles are done we are going to take the strainer and um, have a towel or mitt ready to take the handle of the pot, because it's hot. Um, carefully pour the noodles and the water into the strainer. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put the tap on cold. 
to cool down the noodles so that the pot and the noodles are cooled down. And then you're going to put the pot back on the stove. Okay? Now you're going to kind of shake around the noodles in the, um, in the strainer. Also, another disclaimer, turn off the, the stove before uh, doing the straining for noodles. Because your house will probably catch on fire. Now, we are back. So what we are going to do is we're going to pour the milk into the pot. So we'll take our measuring cup and we got our measurement. All right. So now we're going to kind of turn the stove back on and then we'll carefully put the pour the milk into the pot. Again, you'll put this on a medium heat to let the um, milk kind of simmer, but don't let it, you know, dry out. Now we're going to take our... Okay, so, um, sorry about this part. Uh, my mom was kind of, like, talking to me. So, yeah. Um, so, now we're going to take the strained noodles that we had, and we're going to carefully place them inside of the milk. Um... that I am not in the frame but yeah so now we have our cheesy ramen noodles now you have the choice to put black pepper or salt it doesn't matter what type of seasoning some people put chicken um the chicken ramen noodle seasoning on theirs too um but for me it's just about like a pinch of pepper and a pinch of salt and it's good for me because I'm, I don't really eat that much salt and pepper on my things, but yeah, just a, a pinch of salt, not too salty, and yeah, you can really see the density and the cream in this, but yeah, that that's my video on making um, cheesy ramen noodles. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, leave leave a like, uh, comment, subscribe. Um, 
let me know what things you've liked and what you didn't like. Um, try new things, you guys, and yeah. Um, also, uh, I'll just...